On first down, Wentz well protected to the sideline. Jeffrey with a catch and out of bounds with another first down. He's been a hot receiver of late. He's got a smile on his face and a new four year contract extension. Well, this is a nice drive right now for this Philadelphia Eagles offense. And, you know, when you look at what they've done this year, they don't get shut out much on their first two is good, relying on a lot of young players. Play action, pressure. Wentz steps up down the field. It's broken up with a flag. Tremaine Johnson working against Alshon Jeffrey. Pass interference. Defense number 22. The ball replacement the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Well, there's certainly contact. It's a good call. He's got his right arm around him. It's a, they're obviously trying to take a shot there on third and one. And Carson Wentz takes a, a pretty good shot at the end of that play. And, and because of that, not able to really step into that throw. The ball was, was underthrown a bit. And Alshon Jeffrey trying to come back and make a play. And they, they get Tremaine Johnson with a pass interference and a big shift in field position. Big third and one here. Looked like a flinch, no call. Wentz out to his right, in trouble. Makes a move around Brockers and completes it. That is all Carson Wentz. And if you want to see why this guy is so good, just watch this play. It is all Carson Wentz. Alec Ogletree, he comes right up the middle, and Wentz is able to get away from him. And then you see he's able to make the move there and then still find Jeffrey for the first down. It's pretty remarkable, and Alshon Jeffrey does an excellent job of giving his quarterback a place to go with the ball. Third down and 11. Wentz bodies around him. Pass incomplete for Jeffrey. Well covered by Tremaine Johnson. It's big corner on big receiver, and that time Johnson good enough. Yeah, it's a good point because they don't always travel Tremaine Johnson, you know, with the team's best receiver. It's really based on size. They like Jermaine Johnson's size. They like him on big physical wide receivers. Last week he was on Larry Fitzgerald, certainly fits that mold. And then, of course, Alshon Jeffrey. He made a nice play on that third down ball. Wow. <laughs> Is that right? From the 15 on first down, pass broken up. There's Johnson again, and he's had a lot of Alshon Jeffrey in his face the entire half and that'll continue. And how about Johnny Hecker the punter you, you call it what 64 yard punt there and flips field position it looked like the Eagles might but John Fossil has been just as helpful in navigating some of those things. Second down and nine the pass is caught by Jeffrey out of bounds with a first down and you see Tremaine Johnson 22 in coverage for the Rams Tremaine Johnson 6 2 2 13 Alshon Jeffrey 6 3 2 18 and they matched up all day. That's a good matchup between these these two guys and right now you know obviously coming out here in the second half the way that the Rams are. Just a four man rush once lets it go Jeffrey can't hang on. Jeffrey and Johnson down the field the pass was there and Johnson may have gotten a hand in there and now a flag for what happened way after the play. It's going to be on sportsmanlike conduct on one side. Okay, if that's on the if that's on the Los Angeles Rams you got to be kidding me. Tremaine Rock Tremaine Johnson you know does a good job of getting his hand in there and making a play on the ball and there could be some taunting that took place and Maybe that's where the flag is. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 22. That's a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. This is a huge call against Tremaine Johnson as it brings about a first down. You don't know what was said or there was something obviously said there, and you know Alshon Jeffrey then kind of walks away from it. But you know these players at some point are going to learn. That's, that's that's really really not smart. It hurts your entire football team. You make a key stop on third down on a well played ball only to give up 15 yards and a new set of downs. Wentz protected pass incomplete. Jeffrey the target. And the Rams defense keep Philadelphia 
out of the end zone. Yeah, they're able to make a stop after all, even after the penalties. It's fourth and goal, and yeah. it looks like Doug Peterson's going to go. He sure is. Like we said earlier, he has gone for it an awful lot. I don't know. I think I would take the three points. Fourth and goal. Wentz, time runs out. Pass is to Jeffrey for the touchdown. What a catch right off the top of the grass. And a new franchise record for Philadelphia's Carson Wentz has his 33rd touchdown of the season. It's one heck of a catch. He caught both ends of the football. It was behind him. And how that even got there was pretty amazing. The time in the pocket for Wentz, a lot of protection. Allowed him just to hang in there, and you're going to take a look at it and see where this ball was thrown. And for him to be able to come back and make a play, like I said, he caught both ends of it. It's a great job. The penalties after plays hurting the Rams defensively. And then Carson Wentz with the Eagle fans chanting MVP. Able to find Jeffrey, and it's Philly back on top by three. Play action, Foles fires behind Jeffrey, but he's got it. Catch is made, and they're going to give forward progress for a first down. Win for the Eagles. We'll come back and wrap up this day after this.